Hallelujah. So remember what we just said. It does not matter what you manifest. Even you yourself, that's the best way to notice yourself. You can be speaking in tongues. You can be blah, 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 blah. You can even pray for people and they'll be healed. But the moment your character, your fruit does not glorify God, you know that you have missed it. And you can see that in other people too. So, but there's something, again, this is, I want to read from Philippians chapter 3, 17 and 9, so through to 19. Paul was speaking. You see, he said, brothers and sisters, join together, join together in following my example. Also, learn by watching those who are living the way we showed you. There are many people who live like enemies of cross or Christ. I have often told you about them. And it makes me cry to tell you about them now. The way they live is leading them to destruction. They have replaced God with their own desires. They do, they do shameful things. They are proud of what they do. They think about earthly things. You know, there are so many people, when they started this race, they are heavily conscious. Along the line, somewhere along the line, I pray that you not join them. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10, a man was recorded that way. His name is Demas. Paul said, Demas, he has loved the things of this world. He has left me. There are many people that have left what they believe in. Remember the Bible said, you must not leave your first love. Many people have left their first love. They are now considering their stomach and the things of God to pleasing men. The scripture says that if you please men, you will offend God. You have to choose who do you want to please. Friends, don't be like them as don't serve yourself. If you are in this kingdom, you must serve God alone. He created all things for his pleasure. Don't forget that. Don't be like them as.